Hey everybody, it's Veronica here, and I don't know why I don't film these intros with my hair already done. Um, anyways, I'm kind of kind of running out of time, so we're just gonna we're just gonna go for it. Today, I'm gonna be doing these really tight, bouncy Carrie Bradshaw curls. I don't know why. I just feel like having them in my hair today. I have to work tonight, and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna film a tutorial on how I do it. It's super fun. It's such a good look every time I've worn these curls out. I always get such a good feed response from people like people like it's just good and so I'm gonna teach you how to do these it is actually extremely simple it's a little bit time-consuming with just how tight of the pieces that you have to wrap around the wand that's the only problem is that it's time-consuming curling iron I'm using is bedhead no wait maybe I got an Ulta I'll just show you this like how to make it like big and poofy to look like Carrie Bradshaw's hair because I, I've never seen Sex in the City. Um, I watched a movie once and I did not like it, <laughs> but I love Carrie Bradshaw's hair and like her style. But I'm going to just be showing you how to do this. So for starters, uh, I am going to be spraying in this e Eva NYC. It's a heat protective main magic, so it's a 10 in 1 primer. Anyways, I spray that first before I brush my hair so that I don't rip any of my hair out. Uh, because I don't, I'm trying to like make my hair grow. It's not really working for me. And then I'm gonna be taking my Paul Mitchell brush. I actually got this from my sister, so if you're watching this, thank you. So I'm just gonna brush my hair out. And for some, that spray says to only spray the ends. So I also bought the Not Your Mother's Beat the Heat, which I have been using on and off forever. And I like it every time I use it. And then this one I kind of just spray all over. So my hair is nice and protected. I really want to cover these end pieces. I was recently in LA. And I just did my hair a bunch of times with the Dyson and didn't have heat protectant and the amount of difference that heat protectant I feel makes is astronomical. I just, I can't live without it now. Maybe that's a first world problem, I don't know. So what I'm going to start off by doing is sectioning my hair. I do it in threes. I'm still one of those, one of those girlies that sections their hair off in threes. I'm just taking a dry bar clip, clipping that up, and then I'm just going to section these two out. I taught myself how to do these because I was in a play and it was based in the 1800s and I was supposed to have this wild like unruly curly hair um I played Oscar Wilde's mother uh Jane and that's just kind of like how I interpreted it and so I also looked up like trying how to do um Pirates of the Caribbean uh Keira Knightley hair love Keira Knightley she's so cool so usually I start from the back to the front, but I'm going to start from the front to the back so I make sure that the front pieces are away from my face because I'm going to alternate them so that it gets to look fuller, I think. I think that's what I did. I don't know. I know, I think it was all different directions because I didn't want them all like going the same way and having them tied together. So that's what I did. Um, but do you see how tiny these curls are? Like, the sections are tiny I'd say about an inch width and then just hold it so I went away from the face I'm going towards away towards away towards and I'll just keep doing the exact same thing the whole time I just find that it really creates the look that I want and then this one I don't really need them super tight today, but I will do them super tight just so you guys see. But I, I do want that Carrie Bradshaw kind of look. Also, the sweatshirt I got from Dillard's says Monaco. Like, I'm pretty much Grace Kelly now. Pretty much. That's pretty much how it is. You know. That's what I tell myself. Okay, I my freaking thing. My cord is like... It's too short from where I'm at, so I'll just, I'm just gonna do the lean. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that. I think it's, um, Return to Me? No. No. It's that other one with Sandra Bullock. And she's like, Joe Jr. keeps wanting to go out on a date, and he's like, you know, the lean. What movie is that? If you guys know, comment down below. That's my problem. I can never remember titles to a movie. 
like some I can and then like some of this is like I have no idea even though I like really love the movie while you were sleeping that's the movie that's it also I've never seen Miss Congeniality 2 is it good I have seen I've never seen Legally Bond 2 either That really hurt, Charlie. Really. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's fine. It'll be fine. Just pretend that it's not that hot. Anyways. How better. So that is the first section. You see how tiny these are? No worries. I will be brushing them, like, kind of with my fingers and everything, like, to make them, like, but at the moment, I'm going to leave them. Um, we're going to section the I just realized I kind of whispered the last part. Like, I told it to myself. We're going to section the next section. And I'm going from, like, kind of the end of my eyebrows or just at my temples straight back. I don't know. I just prefer three sections. I've been doing three sections since I learned how to start curling my hair. So, yeah. And then all I'm going to do is fish out the pieces that are... Straight, move the curly ones to the back, which it's unfortunately all up to me. So I just do these really tight, hold them for a little bit. The end. I'll probably honestly fast forward this because it's going to take way too long. So I will see you on the top section. Okay, finish that section. This is looking uh, interesting. So now, what I'm going to do is take out the last section, but I don't need this clip anymore, so I'm going to clip out, clip back the hair that's curly, and it's curly enough I don't think it'll ruin the curls, but I don't want to search for missing pieces anymore, so that's not what we're going to do. We are going to make it a little easier on ourselves. See? So I'm just going to clip the other hair back, so I don't have to search for it. I can just pull apart whatever is on top of the clip. And I am going to do a middle part just because I prefer them. I always have. I was doing middle parts like 10 years ago when they were not cool. So yeah. I'm kind of I'm kind of awesome. I can tell right now that my hair is going to need a little help with volume because it's a tiny bit dirty. It's not like super dirty there is just just a little bit okay so let's just start with the front pieces and da -da -da. here we go my face looks completely different when my hair is like pulled back maybe that's just me different it's like bizarre so I got these wild curls no worries, we're gonna we're gonna shake them out. We'll we'll add some hairspray, some texture spray. We'll brush them out with our fingers. Like this is not the end result. I mean, if you want it to be, go for it. But not for the look that I'm trying to go for today. Honestly, I could have sectioned my hair in four so that I had more volume on the top, but I didn't do that. So well, okay. So honestly, it's just a continuation and repeat of this process so I think I will just click off real quick and I'll sign back on when I am close to being done because there's no difference the only reason I did this one the exact same direction is because one was lower and the one that was higher so if they seem like they're in the same spot but a little different levels then I'll do them in the same direction sorry I just thought about that so I figured I'd tell ya like this one will go on top. Like sometimes I want them way up by the root. And so I'll pull the one way up on the top even though there's pieces underneath. Honestly, it's it's so... What is the word I'm looking for? This hair is so wild that I don't think anybody would be able to tell. I just prefer to do some on the root of my hair so they're not all hanging super flat, um, just on the very top. So I'll pull like that section like I did and go way up here. I should have done that actually on like this one, but mm, oh well. Some volume spray and we'll just call it a day. 
I do, do, do. like it's honestly okay if some are not as tight as the other ones you don't obviously want some that are like super loose but you don't want some of them like they don't all have to be as tight as all the other strands so anyways I think I'll sign off and then I'll just sign back in when I'm close to being done okay so here's the final after curling look this isn't the final look but it's the after curling look so now that we finished with this I let it cool for like a few minutes we are gonna be spraying it with some dry texture spray this is Orbi okay really quick I don't think we need to hairspray it before we start separating with our fingers because it's already a little a little tight and I would like it to fall quite a bit okay so then what we're gonna do is just take our fingers through it I'm gonna add volume especially like right up here so I kind of like to just scratch these roots like with my fingertips to see if I can't like tangle it or tease it a bit Okay, we're going to keep doing this. Do I have volumizing spray or powder? I thought maybe I did. Hold on. Nope. Ooh, we've got Seaside Beach Spray. So we don't have that. That's fine. I'm just going to do a little more dye texture spray right on this middle part to kind of boost it up. I need to buy more of that. Okay, now for the flip. This is like the best part. And I like to give it a good shake so that these curls also fall, but like really naturally. Turn this way. I'll turn this way. So everybody can see. Hopefully. These, these front pieces, I like to get especially volumized because I think it lifts so pretty off the face. This is what I was talking about. Now I'm gonna go through with my fingers, <sighs> kind of like smooth it out, you know, so it doesn't look like bed head. Okay. A little bit separated, that's good. You can maneuver these however you would like. I'm gonna spray some beach sea salt spray in, and then you can top it with some hairspray. I don't know if I really need any, and I really don't like the feeling of hairspray, so I'll just kind of do these like front pieces because I hate the feeling of hairspray in my hair. And honestly, that's it. You get these really wild and fun, natural looking curls that you spent half hour on, or however long it took you. Personally, I love them. I think they're, they're so fun. They're so fresh. I think they look natural because they're just so kind of all over. And I think that's honestly really cool that the curling iron makes them look natural because like the way if you curl them tight enough and in different directions it looks like your hair would look if I had naturally curly hair anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this I wanted my hair like this anyways figured I'd film it if you want any more requests comment them down below I'd love to hear from you don't forget to like comment and subscribe and join the Veronica fam I've that's not a great name, but <laughs> I would love to see you again and comment down below any requests or any videos that you would like to see from me and let's be friends. All right. Bye.